Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. Good. Can you tell me your name? Carla. You are really adorable, <laughs> and you have great skin. <laughs> I'm a skin fanatic. Are you homeless? Yes. Okay. Where do you currently live? Commission of Valley. Hold on. So how old are you? I'm 20. You're 20? I your just turned 20. <laughs> yeah? When, uh, when is your birthday? July 17th. Oh. <laughs> wow. So what will you do for the rest of this day? I don't know. <laughs> um, what is like? A, what is it? What is a typical day for you? What do you ask? school? School and work. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you work? I'm a caregiver. I care for a gentleman at his house. Oh, you do? Wow. And you do all this from living out of a shelter? <laughs> yeah. That's great. Wow. I won't so be, I won't be in a shelter for long. Yeah. I've got a friend that wants me to come and move in with her. So. That's great. But she hasn't moved there yet. Uh -huh. They've already got the apartment. They haven't moved so. And what, where in your nursing? You said you were in nursing school? Um, I take my test this coming Friday. And then you'll be... Well, not this Friday, but next Friday. I mean. And then what? And then CNA. Oh, cool. And then do you, are you going to be working in a particular hospital, or you'll just apply to hospitals with your... I've already got an interview for a nursing home. Great. Is that what you prefer? Do you prefer working with the elderly? Yes. That's so nice. What what makes what what about the elderly draws you to them? I don't know. It's like because when I was seven, I started volunteering. So since I was seven, I've been volunteering at nursing homes, and I really fall in love with them. I like to go in there and talk to them, just make them smile. You know, you communicate. They talk to you. So you don't. And you don't have to up uh, with them. You know, they don't say anything to you. And that's what older people like. They like somebody that's going to be there to talk, you know. It's not going to be, ugh, you know, quiet, so. Yeah, that's really interesting. And you've known this from a young age, huh? Yes. And I knew what I wanted to be. Have you heard any interesting stories or something that an older person has told you that you think is like a, wor a words of wisdom? Or? <laughs> there was a lady that told me that she always thought there was an angel. And so when I came in one day... She's like, you know what, you're my angel because you're always here. And when I'm crying, you're always there to comfort me. So. And how does that make you feel? That made me happy. Then when she passed away, I was like, oh, man. Yeah. Because she, she was real close. What makes you want to keep taking the next step and keep working for a better goal? Because it gives you encouragement on what you're doing with the older people. I mean, even though you have to... Either give them a bed bath or bathe them, you know, but that that's not all what, you know, you should be doing. You should be able to help them and not, you know, say, okay, I don't like this job, but you wanted to be a CNA. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had a few people that say they wanted to be a CNA, but then they go to a nursing home and they really see what it's like and yeah. they don't want to be in it. Yeah. But <clears throat> none of that hard stuff bothers you. You you enjoy it, I it enjoy seems it. like. That's some really amazing. So you're probably what they call an old soul. Yeah, so you knew what your calling was from a very young age. Uh, yeah. I, well, I started studying about seven years old. So, and what were you studying? CNA. You were? <laughs> I had books and books after one another. I love reading, so. That is really impressive. That's what I do here. I read and read. Well, you know what? You kind of look like an angel, too, I have to tell <laughs> you. I mean, you know, you have a very angelic look about you. Thank you for taking the time to talk to You're us. Welcome. I really appreciate You're it. You're welcome.